Hello everyone, this is Rahul Pawar and welcome to my YouTube channel Express Your Data. In today's video, we are going to discuss about one of the very important scenarios that was asked in MindTrick. How to implement your YTD, MTD and QTD calculations with respect to parameter. So user wanted to have a parameter and in that we will have list of YTD, MTD and QTD and based on the selected parameter value should automatically compute the result so that was this was the ask so let us get started without wasting much time and uh, now before i get started don't forget to like share and subscribe uh, for, for more such videos so first thing that i'm doing is i'm checking if i have my data or not so if i go to my order date i have uh data till 2021 so to get the data till current year what i'm doing is i'm just doing uh, a simple calculation to get uh, my data so i'm adding three years to my existing year so 18 will become 21 19 will become 22 like that okay so but in real time we will not have this scenario because you'll your data will be updated or up to date because this is a mock-up data just to sync it with our you know, standard calculation that we are going to write I'm uh, doing this here. So I've written it like this. And uh, now what I'm doing is I'm trying to write a calculation here. So generally, when I say year till date or you know QTD or MTD, what does that mean in general? So your month till date calculation or the total sales that were occurred from 1 January 2023 to 19th January 2023 is your MTD like that if it is month whatever the month in that month whatever the sales you have done is your month same likewise whatever the sales that were that occurred in that particular quarter is your QTD same like that if whatever the sales that I have occurred in that particular year is your YTD calculation so for that purpose I'm simply writing this or maybe to show you what i'll do is i'll go back to this sheet so now you see here uh this is our calculation okay and uh, i'll just remove it and uh, i'm going to open my calculation just for reference purpose and maybe i'll also remove this now if you if I go and edit so what is happening if you see here our this is the standard calculation order date is less than today which means all your dates which are less than today and we are matching or equating it with current year and month of today so which means month is matching here so because this is month so mtd we will get now let us try to just duplicate and we'll see which part in month is becoming true so i'm just taking month from this part so all of this is false if you observe. So only January is becoming true in 2023 because we are in month part. Likewise, if I say, like say quarter, I want to test. Okay, and here also quarter. Now only the quarter of 2023 is becoming true and we need sales of only this month if at all we are considering only uh, the quarter part but if I say year part let us observe that also I want to show you which is becoming true because based on that only we will be getting our sales if I say year your entire year of 2023 is becoming true observe this one and that is your year till date calculation okay so now what are we going to do is we are going to prepare or create a parameter and i'm writing it as select uh, period here okay and i'm going to take a list uh, string here maybe you can also try with integer and i'm going to write it as ytd mtd and qtd because these are the three options that i want to do so i'm just clicking on okay so if i just go to show parameter three calculations we have perfect now we when a user will select ytd it should show only ytd that is the task here 
so what i am going to do is i am going to create three calculations here okay just to make it easy for you you can also try to write it in a single calculation that is also possible but i'm just doing it in single calculation so i'm going to write it as ytd and uh, let us copy it from here and i'm just taking this okay so this is our calculation standard calculation that we have written now my requirement is wherever this is becoming true i want to consider sales okay for this so i'm just taking because it is year i'm adjusting it to year and i'm just writing if my order date is less than today and if this is matching so if it is becoming true then give me sales okay and end it simple okay else zero also we can write else zero and simple so this will give us a sale so far our current year click on apply and if i try to add this ytd to our label you see we are getting sales only for this january year okay so first thing we have done now what i am doing is uh, i'm just duplicating this ytd to create a calculation for mtd and qtd okay and here i'm just editing this and instead of ytd i'm writing it as mtd because i need it for mtd and just adjusting my date part to be month here and here also month okay click on apply okay now when i take this mtd into this only january is becoming true because according to our calculation this is our current month now according to the month you are in that will become true okay so mtd is also working same likewise i'll adjust my qtd to show only quarter sales and i am going to write it as qtd okay so just write here as quarter maybe you can try to you know remember this calculation so once only one thing standard calculation we are trying to use only the date format we are changing click on apply okay now if i select a qtd here it is display perfect now we will write a calculation to bring all of this according to our parameter that is the next thing so i'm going to write here as p underscore select period and i'm calling uh, i'm writing a case statement here case of uh, select period okay when it is ytd then consider ytd likewise when it is mtd then consider uh, mtd likewise when it is qtd then consider qtt and simply end it okay i'm just clicking now when you are selecting ytd from your parameter this will get invoked likewise mtd mtd will get invoked qtd qtd will get invoked click on apply and okay i'm just taking this and dropping it on label and if i select ytd it is showing the sales of all of the year likewise mtd only for that month and qtd is this so likewise if i remove all of this and keep it only this is your qtd calculation this is your mtd and this is your ytd okay so this is something that we can do to achieve this one of the frequently implemented scenario in real time you might get a chance to work or implement this scenario so make sure you are practicing this thing uh, when you are doing it okay so that's it from my side in this video i hope this video was useful if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day